As built for AutoCAD, Feature Data Tutorial 3, Modeling and Configuration of a Data Structure. Part 2 of 3, Create the Structure Definition. After this tutorial, you will be able to create a new structure definition in As Built for AutoCAD, create new classes and attributes, set links between classes, create classes that inherit from a base class, export save the structure definition. Please watch As Built for AutoCAD Feature Data Tutorial 3 Part 1 first. For a detailed description of every command, please refer to the user manual. Based on the second draft from part one of this tutorial, we will now create a new structure definition in the software. Go to As Built Feature Data, Tutorial Feature Data, and select Tutorial 3. Tutorial 3.wg will open. Select the Create Structure Definition command. The dialog Create Structure Definition will appear. Enter the name for the structure e.g. office. You can also add a brief note under description. When you load the structure in future, the note will also be displayed as selection aid. Click OK. The structure view is divided into three parts. The upper colored part shows office, which contains all concrete objects and object collectors, which are used to change several objects or their attributes at the same time. When opening a drawing, the object collector is empty. The lower gray part, Definition, contains all definitions. Now we want to create a new structure definition, therefore only be dealing with a definition part. Start with the Room class. Go to Definition and double-click to extend the tree. Right-click the subentry classes and select Add Class. Now type the room class name. Complete the dialog as shown here. Click the Type tab and pick Area. Now the Room class inherits all properties from Area. Click OK. Note the new Room class in the Structure view. At the same time, special classes Area, Subarea, and Room Polygon have been created. In the next step, the attributes Room Number and Use of the Room are defined. In the Structure view, right-click Attribute and select Add Attribute. Enter the attribute name room number, and select all the options as shown here. Select key as attribute type. Since all room numbers should be unique in a plan, this attribute type is especially suitable. This ensures that no room number occurs twice. Click OK. Create another attribute. Right-click Attributes and select Add Attribute. Change the attribute name to Use. On the Attribute Type, select Extendable Selective List. Write some default values into the Extendable Selective List, e.g. Office, Kitchen, Corridor, Bathroom. The attribute defined in this way can assume a value for each room from the specified set of terms or a user-defined value. If you don't want the data collector to add new terms later, select the Attribute Type Selective List, and a better data consistency can be enforced. The option Offer Last Value means that the value that has been selected or entered last will be offered next time. Click OK. The remodeling of the room class is completed. The next classes to be created are Facility and Inventory. Use the previous shown diagram to create all other classes, Facility, Inventory, Inventory Type, Employee, and Workplace, like we did before. Complete the dialog as shown here. For the time being, keep the default setting in the class configuration. Do not forget the base classes and attributes. For the attributes, you can keep the default settings, but some settings must be changed. For demonstration purposes, we will speed the video up. If significant changes are made, we will review them and resume the video speed.
If you enable the option Prompt Attributes immediately after object creation, all attributes are prompted upon the creation of an object. If you disable this option, the attributes are automatically filled in with the default values. The class Inventory shall get an additional graphic. Therefore, activate the option Link Object with Graphic relation with AutoCAD drawing elements on the Graphic tab. Next, we will create the inheritance between Facility and Inventory as well as the Inventory Number attribute. To ensure inventory inherits from facility, under Inventory, right-click Base Class to add Facility as Base Class. Attribute Inventory Number, select the Attribute Type key. Enter I01 for the base value. Now we will create Inventory Type along with its attributes, description, and price. The class's inventory type and employee do not have graphic representations in the drawing. Therefore, on the Label tab, disable the Object Has Label option. Click OK. Attribute Description. Select the Attribute Type Selected List. Enter Office Chair, Chair, and Table as values for the list. Attribute Price. Select the attribute type decimal number. Set the display accuracy in the combo box from the default value, like AutoCAD, to 0.01. Now we will create employee along with its attribute name. The class employee does not have graphic representation in the drawing. Therefore, on the label tab, disable the object has label option. Click OK. Attribute Name. Select the Attribute Type Text. Ensure the standard value is empty and leave the entry empty. Click OK. Next, we will create Workplace, its attributes, and the inheritance between Facility and Workplace. Now we will create the links starting with Inventory Has Type. As of now, the links are still missing. Right-click Links and select Add Link. Complete the dialog as shown here. The fields Name of Link and Classes to be Linked are required. The option Monitor Number of Objects to be Linked, Cardinality, ensures the quality of data capture by applying further restrictions. The default settings allow to link every object with any number of other objects. For example, this behavior makes sense for a tenant uses room link. Every tenant can use several rooms, and every room can usually be assigned to several tenants. However, this standard behavior is unwanted for most links. For example, with the inventory has type link, every piece of inventory should only have exactly one inventory type. This is expressed by the interval 1, 1. This setting can ensure that every piece of inventory is assigned its type during capturing. An inventory type, on the other hand, can be assigned to any number of or even no piece of inventory. In the interval notation, this is expressed by 0, comma, plus 0, 0. Plus 0, 0 stands for infinity. Click OK. Our next step is to create the link has facility between the class's room and facility. In the structure view, right-click links and select add link. Complete the dialog as shown here. Since room inherits from area, the option link facility based on position with room equipment is offered. Enable this option. This way, a facility whose insertion point lies within a room, respectively its polyline, will automatically be assigned to this room. The option Consider Facility when calculating the areas of room subarea would only be available if the room inherited from area and facility from subarea. If this option was enabled, the surface areas of facility objects will then contribute to the surface areas of room objects. Now let's create the missing links. Workplace has inventory and employee uses workplace. Complete the dialog as shown here. 
Workplace should display the graphics of the linked inventory when marked. Therefore, switch on the option Also Show Linked Objects. The link types are shown in the structure view. Now we will complete the final one. The structure definition is now complete. To make the structure definition available for other plans and for future use, save it in a file. Use the structure command save structure definition. Save the file as forward slash tutorials forward slash feature underscore data forward slash general forward slash tutorial three forward slash office dot txt. In this tutorial, you learned how to create a new structure definition in Asbuilt for AutoCAD, create new classes and attributes, set links between classes, create classes that inherit from the base class, export save the structure definition. Please watch Asbuilt for AutoCAD Feature Data Tutorial 3, Part 3 of 3, to learn how to capture feature data to fill in the structure we just defined.